Mastery method, that's hard. Yeah, that's it, man. It's really all about the method. Um, I've studied a lot of different things over time, and I found like a sweet spot and an easy way to get people who've never seen the market, how to get them into the market, how to get them comfortable and confident every day. So um, my method is called the mastery method, and it's comprised of a few things. But one thing that I definitely believe in is letting the past inform the present so that we can, with high probability, predict the future. So I teach everyone to look to the left, to the left, to the left. Everything you own in a box to the left. Neo wrote it. Beyonce sang it. Jay traded it. And we look to the left so that we can find uh, the information that's going to be necessary for us to be successful traders today and moving forward. You know, so that's part of the mastery method. Uh, when does the market open again due to Easter Sunday? I don't know. Check the CME. I feel like it should open at the regular time, 6 p.m. Eastern. But if there are any alterations, I'm sure the CME uh, will let you know. So if you um, go to like the CME Group's website or um, your broker probably has a, a financial calendar, a market calendar. You can also check Econo Day. They're very good about that sort of thing. Go to econoday.com. Uh, good question, though. JP Sami. That's a good question. McIntosh, do you like trading in a choppy market? I'll tell you, calm seas don't make a great captain. So if you want to be a good trader, you can't always look for the most easiest conditions. You got to just get to the market. And that's the beauty of it. You know, it really doesn't matter what your conditions are. If you're a trader, uh, the idea more than anything is to wait for your shot, you know, Conditions don't matter, just the one that's right for you. So Macintosh, it might be a good thing. Like you find out, hey, do I like tra trading in a choppy market? Do I like a smooth market? Do I like something that's trending, consolidating? Do I like long time frame resistance or support? Am I more of a bull? Am I more of a bear? Do I not care? Am I someone who likes to hold a trade for days or only like to hold it for a few minutes? Like you just ask yourself a few questions and from there you get to it, man. But I'm going to tell you. Whether it chops or whether it's smooth, man, we got to get to the money, right? What up, what up, fam? It's good. Uh, yes, I work a nine to five. Do any of the bully traders trader um, before hours or after hours? <laughs> the bullies from, are from all over the world, Solis. So um, I have bullies in China and Africa, South America, Brazil, and uh, Port, uh, Portugal. I got bullies in the Caribbean, bullies in Nigeria. I got bullies in Kenya, Australia. So you will always find a bully somewhere in the world getting to it. If you go to our Slack group, there's a channel called Live Trading. And if you go to that live trading channel, you can typically say, hey, is anybody in the market right now? Anybody watching the market right now? And chances are it's going to be a bully that's trading. Uh, Ms. Dehaney says the 400 just sits in an account until you're ready or is it a fee? It just sits in an account until you're ready. That's all. It just sits there. Uh, there's no fees uh, with it. Is there any training for dummies? I'm a beginner here. Well, first of all, you're a beginner, so you're not a dummy. Don't worry about it. I don't want you to say that. And yes, my training is designed and developed. Uh, I, I like to say I designed the course for somebody if they were from Mars. <laughs> this girl is calling. Sunday. Sunday. What you? Hey, I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Hang up the phone. Pick it up and Just pick it up and hang it up. <laughs> there you go. All right. Uh, okay. Okay, that's cool. Is there a train? So you're 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 good. Don't worry about that. Uh, Devon Devon Bose. I hope I'm saying that right. Devon Bose. But uh, all you have to do is um, you know, I designed the course. Like if you were from Mars, what would you be able to learn? So the way that the course is devised is, you kind of get the course and it starts you literally at the beginning. What is a bond? What is this platform that we use to trade? What does an execution platform do? What is a brokerage? Um, what are candles? How to read them? Hey, it's a new day. How to set up for a new day? What should I be looking for in a trade scenario? When do I get into a trade? When do I get out of a trade? If I make money, what happens? If I lose money, what happens? How do I manage capital so that my account continues to grow? What um, math can I use in order to ensure that I don't lose all of my winnings? Uh, so I go like really brick by brick by brick. And then ultimately, it's about mind state, self-awareness, self-control, discipline, um, managing your fear and greed, managing your yourself more than anything. Kay McKinney in the building. What up, Kay? It's good to see you.
Of course you can. Here you go. Um, Tam, Tam, what's good? It's so good to see everybody. Uh, let me see more questions. Not sure if you answered this. Do you use Ninja Trader and what's your thoughts on it? Stay woke. Yes, I do use Ninja Trader. I think it's a fantastic platform. I do. Happy Resurrection Day to you too. So that you're very, very welcome. I want to learn options. Where should I begin? Um, I don't know. I have, I, I, I think if I were you, I would like um, reach out to Finance on Fleet. She's great at options. She learned from a lady uh, called uh, Cassandra. She runs a group called Stocks and Stilettos. Um, in my opinion, you will find no better options trader. Uh, Stocks and Stilettos. Stocks and Stilettos. And her name is Cassandra. So you can go there, you know. Um, man, she has a handle on the options like you would not believe. Cassandra is quite literally um, black history walking, you know. She has over 80,000 members of a Facebook group where she's educating black women on how to be prosperous in the financial markets. Just let that sink in. 80,000. That's, that's more people that are in some countries. And she manages that sort of task. She manages that sort of workload. And she really teaches women how to be successful in the financial markets every day. I'm talking about ladies knocking four, five, six, seven, eight hundred dollars over the head on a regular basis. So, you know, shout out to her. Everybody, if you, any stiletto bullies in here, let me see some stilettos get dropped. You already know what it is. There are questions here, but it's like I can't see them. Okay, here we go. On the chart trader auto stop you talked about, are you just taking trades in the direction of the current bar? If so, on what? No, I don't just take trades in the direction of a bar. I don't ever do that. We can't, we don't take trades because of the color of the bar. We don't do that. So I, I you know, Stephen, I'm, I'm not doing that. No, just taking trades because, oh, it's green, so it must be going up by it. Nope. That's not the steez. Uh, Do you like trading in a choppy market? Yeah, I like trading. I like getting to the money no matter the market. Good question. Uh, are resistance support lines the same as trend lines? Nope. Uh, this is a good question, Jay Brandy. Very good question. So a resistance in a support line, like there's one of the videos in the course material called How to Draw Trend Lines and How to Draw Support and Resistance. Support and resistance typically happens at one price. So imagine, um, let's imagine we were trading this wall, right? Let's, we we're trading this, like this is our chart, okay? Let me see. This is our chart. Let me see if I can get, okay, cool. This is our chart. Call this black line support call this guy right here resistance so you would be buying here and selling there i feel like i'm doing the weather right so that's just support resistance however trend line is a little different so imagine you have this bottom of this blue line and the top of it and you see how it rises like this and like that so this would be a trend line it is not flat but it supports as it goes down and up here, the top of the line, it resists as it goes down. So it's almost like um, a diagonal line that works as support. That's a trend line. And uh, you can find those just all over the world, man. You know, like, check it out. I'm in a hotel room, and this is one of the pictures. I've been looking at it all the time because it just it reminds me of trend lines. So if you have, like, a line going down like this and another line parallel to it, that's kind of like a downward trend line. You see that? And you can trade the support and resistance as the market falls. You see? Something simple like that. So support, resistance, horizontal, trend lines, diagonal. Think about it like that. Nothing crazy. Here's another question. When does the market start again due to it being Easter? Uh, oh, yeah, I think I answered that. I, I think it's tonight at 6. Um, but... In any case, check the CME group or Econo Day, and they'll be able to let you know um, market times. I think your broker might also uh, let a calendar go. You know what I'm saying? Release a calendar. So make sure you stay on point with that. Thank you for the hearts. So I appreciate that. Your biggest challenge when you first started trading bonds, Ivan D. Morris. My biggest challenge. Whew. Me. Me. 
me. I think the biggest challenge you'll ever have is the trader. Why do you think people like um, software-based trading? Because they want their brains without their heart. Think about it. You design a software-based trading system so that you don't have to worry about your emotions. You don't have to have self-control. You build a mechanism where you can get out of sight of yourself. I think the hardest thing for anybody to do if you're a trader is to control yourself. So it's always going to be you versus you. My biggest challenge is me controlling myself every day. Trading long versus trading short, up or down. Long is up, short is down. Trade them both, man. <laughs> if, it's, if the buying is done and it's time to sell, don't buy. Sell. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Cinco Cinc 5, do you use RSI and, and MA for bonds? Yep, I do. I might not use it how you use it, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, a tool is a tool, right? So, Cinco, check this out. Any tool is a tool, but it all depends on how you use it. For example, we all have iPhones. Some of us use our iPhones and make $20 million. Others of us do the June bug challenge. Others of us call our grandmothers. We all have the same tool. We use it all in different ways. So RSI, moving averages, it's a tool. It's really about the proper implementation of the tool for the right trading scenario. You can use RSI. In, I can name seven ways right now you can use it in different trading setups. It's just really about how you use the tool. You know what I'm saying? That's a good question, though, Cinco. Nobody's really ever asked me about that. Uh, we got questions. Can the technique you use also be used to trade stock options? So the t what I teach, like my techniques, Shell, Varner, I appreciate that. That's a great question. What I, and I say this humbly, but what I teach is not instrument or market specific. It is how buyers and sellers speak to one another. That's why the students that I have taught, I literally say it's the last trading class you'll ever need. Because after you learn what I show you, then what else is there to know? If you if if my if if a bond bully picks picks up a, a S and P chart, they'll be just fine. If they pick up a forex chart, they'll be just fine. If they pick up a Tesla chart, they'll be just fine. Equities and um, commodities and any chart, like if you pick it up, futures, it doesn't matter because we know how buyers and sellers talk, and if you know that, you're good to go. So. The traders that have passed through my class have uh, used what I teach them, what I've taught them to trade options, to trade, uh, to manage their long term portfolios, to swing trade, because once you know how to do it, it ain't that hard. <laughs> straight up, straight up. It's really not that hard once you know what's going on.